Hey crypto kids and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into the price of Bitcoin because Bitcoin is currently trying to see a breakout from this bullish pennant that we've been forming on the four hourly time frame for the past couple of days in different shapes and forms. Uh, so I do I do have a small uh, breakout trade on Bitcoin at the moment. It's around a $10,000 position size, uh, but let's see what happens. I will be discussing what I'm going to be doing with this in today's video alongside a bunch more other things and and why I think this Bitcoin pump is not going to be too long lived. So stay tuned until the end of the video for that. And guys, if you do want to be trading Bitcoin or most cryptocurrencies, you can head over to the description below to sign up to either Bybit or Bitflex. I currently have a very cool giveaway just for you guys uh, where you can win 1000 USDT by the 1st of November. Uh, the details are on the campaign in on the right hand side. And of course, with Bybit, you can claim a very cool deposit bonus. Now, let's jump into the price of Bitcoin because we're sitting at $34,400. Now, what's going to happen next? And why are we not seeing a full-fledged breakout here? Or could we pump higher in the next couple of hours? So the first thing that I want to discuss, right? The first thing is first, why have we been seeing a pump these past couple of days? Of course, if you guys have been watching the channel for the past, you know, uh, for, for a while now, we've been discussing why this is happening, etc. But I kind of want to bring more light to the Bitcoin options and open interest because I've been going further down into this um, and it basically explains the entire pump situation. So as you can see on the Bitcoin price, this is the Bitcoin price, the yellow line is the Bitcoin price and the green, the green over here is the open interest. Now the open interest is the amount of unclosed options on the Bitcoin market. And currently it has hit an all time high, ladies and gents. We've not seen this many options being open um, ever since the previous bull market that we had. And currently it is at all time highs. Now, what does this mean? Why is this happening? So let me let me explain this and why is this significant? Now, the reason why it's significant is because the reason for this many options on the market is because Bitcoin is now having an institutional pump towards the upside. This is not a normal retail pump that we see uh, in the previous bull markets. It's actually an institutional pump. And let me show you why. So if I bring out the volume on the weekly time frame and we go back, we can see that on the previous pumps uh, where Bitcoin saw massive, massive, you know, increases towards the upside, we usually saw a lot of volume volume, right? Just overall, we have a lot of volume. Usually like when we saw a pump here, there was plenty of volume, but now the volume has decreased significantly. We're not seeing significant volume. And this massive pump here that we saw these past couple, two weeks, uh, it's not being driven by too much demand. So basically it's safe to say that retail traders are not causing this pump. Now, usually when Bitcoin goes up like 10%, you see your friends, your family start discussing and talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But this time around, none of that's happening. Mainstream media is not talking about Bitcoin. I've, I've not seen this uh, on local news or international news. It's not just something that's being talked about. So the reason why this Bitcoin pump is happening is because of institutions that have held. Actually, there was around 4.5 billion dollars worth of options that were expiring. Uh, this was news that came out uh, literally like two days ago. And Durbit has risen to $20.64 billion in terms of options and contracts. So it's a massive number. And these are opened by institutions. So institutions are fueling this Bitcoin pump. And they're having literally, if we see the call versus put ratio, we're at a 76.85% to a 23.15% call to put ratio in the past 24 hours. So people are expecting Bitcoin to increase. Now, why are they expecting it to increase? It means that institutions are expecting a massive pump to come around uh, after either the ETF or the Bitcoin halving, which on CryptoKid.com, by the way, we can see it is in around 175 days. This data can change, by the way, it can vary different websites. 
because you can't actually pinpoint it to the exact time, it's not possible. So it will become clearer. Uh, again, it's an estimated time uh, coming towards it, but in around 175 days, we will see the Bitcoin halving. So institutions are most likely speculating that Bitcoin is going to see a drastic increase. This is Wyckoff, by the way. I do have my macro chart, which I will pull up. Um, so over here, we can see that the halving, if I switch to the weekly time frame, it is going to be on the 4th of April, most likely, right? And coming up to it, if institutions are opening options, giving prices of potentially $40,000, $50,000, they're expecting these prices. Um, that's why we have a lot of open interest and current open options because uh, they are uh, expecting higher prices in the future. Now, this drives up demand for Bitcoin, the price, well, it drives the price up for Bitcoin, because of course, if there are strike prices at around $40,000, $50,000, then they need to make sure Bitcoin gets to that level so that they can actually profit from their uh, from their option positions, right? So that's why we see the drive up in price coming up to it. And it's not from retail, it's actually from the institutions that want to make sure that their options orders are in profit. So that is why this is so significant. Significant. Now, again, it's a bit of a fake rally. I mean, if you just think about it, this entire pump has been fueled by initially, um, well, initially the fake Bitcoin BlackRock spot ETF, which didn't even launch. And then we got hype of it being listed on the DTCC, which doesn't really mean too much. Like it can also mean that we don't see a Bitcoin Black BlackRock ETF in like two years. Like it's not something significant. So all of this pump that we had from like 28K all the way to 34K have been based on overhyping and based on fake news and speculation. So all of this is like a fake rally, right? And it's not driven by retailers. It's driven by institutions that want to make money on their options orders. So coming up to what is my game plan? Look, so I have this, like it's not a massive trade again, uh, but... I will put my stop loss. It was at $33,540. I'm going to move this stop loss a bit higher up. So if I switch back to the four hourly time frame, uh, it is possible that we retest the support and then we continue higher. This is possible. So we could retest and then continue higher. Uh, but look, there is just not enough volume. If I bring out the VPVR, we're not seeing massive volume within this range and above this particular range as well. So the gist is, I'm going to keep this long position open. I'm going to bring up my stop loss to $33,950 on Bitflex. So if I just put my uh, stop loss, $33,950, boom, make it tighter. Um, look, I'm going to keep it open just in case Bitcoin goes higher overnight. But if not, I wouldn't be surprised. Probably we will see a 40k Bitcoin, but it's going to be different. It's not going to be like a bull market. Bitcoin dominance is rising. So if Bitcoin trades at $40,000, I'm not expecting altcoins to go significantly higher too. Like it's just going to be a Bitcoin driven institutional um, institutional bull run that, you know, institutions want to mainly profit off of their options. I think that's what we're going to be seeing. And that's why it's going to be a different bull market. And as a community post, I actually posted this um, around a thousand people voted on what they think is going to happen first forty thousand dollars or thirty one thousand two hundred dollars so 31.2k is probably the most important level of support that we're seeing on bitcoin right now uh so 53 percent of the people think forty thousand dollars now it's possible right so it's unfortunately not um possible or like it's we can't see the exact prices of these options the strike prices etc um i don't have access to this data although I will be doing more further digging to try and get as much more data as possible, but it's not something that's publicly accessible to the market. But uh, that's, yeah, that's that's like a kind of a rundown on what's happening right now. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash up the like button, uh, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Ladies and gents, I'll be here daily, hopefully, to be giving you the best content in crypto possible, um, non, you know, just objective, non-biased. So uh, make sure to stick around for the future videos. Guys, I'm CryptoKid. I'm 16. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. And for all the Turkish people uh, in my audience, happy 100th, um, you know, year for us. Us. Of course, it's been 100 years since the Republic of Turkey was formed. So massive, massive uh, congratulations. Hope you're, hope you're celebrating with family today. Ladies and gents, thanks so much for watching. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video very soon. Take care, guys, and bye-bye.